This is Mike Bot. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your FEP or ACF film on your VAT. I am specifically doing this video for the Anycubic because that's the printer I run, but it essentially applies to all the other printers out there, with the process being maybe slightly different. So we have the ACF film, which stands for the Advanced Composite Film, and it's a new resin printing film that has essentially surpassed the previous FEP or NFEP options. The ACF has a smoother surface and it's supposed to reduce suction force. So with that said, it's supposed to provide you superior performance, supposedly, and a higher success rate for resin printing because it allows faster curing. So that means that you can print faster with the ACF film. Now the lifespan on the ACF film is a lot shorter than FEP from what I've seen and they are significantly more expensive. So you have your classic FEP, which stands for fluorinated ethylene propylene, and that's the film that's been used for years. I haven't done resin 3D printing for too long, so I'm not gonna get into details on the different FEP and ACF and why to choose one over the other. So in short, ACF is for faster printing, FEP is your classic film. So the process for this is somewhat straightforward and it is a little time consuming so make sure you set aside at least 30 minutes. The tools required are going to be your two allen wrenches, tweezers or some sort of uh, sharp pokey object, a utility knife and of course your new film. So you want to begin by flipping your vat over and removing all the screws. Make sure you set them aside because there are quite a few and you don't want to lose any. You need all of them and they need to be on tight afterwards. Once you've removed all the screws, clean the frame with some isopropyl alcohol. Make sure you're using gloves as well. I know I'm not using gloves here, it was a mistake. I have chemical burns on my fingers now. So ensure safety first. So once you've cleaned off the frame and the vat really well with iso alcohol. So you're going to need your vat obviously and make sure your film is actually in bad condition, has a hole in it, a tear, damage, whatever before you replace it because it's not worth replacing one that's in somewhat good condition considering the cost. The next part is to remove the screws on the frame. Again, once the screws are removed, put them aside. These ones are even smaller than the first set. Use isopropyl alcohol to clean everything off very, very well. So now with the screws removed on everything, take your old film, toss it in the garbage, dispose of it properly. You have no use for this film, there's no point to keep it. Grab your new film, and then from there you want to remove both covers on it. So there's two protective screens on the film, remove both sides of it. You want to ensure the matte side is down when you are putting it in back into the frame. Now, if you want to keep track of everything properly, when you take everything apart, set them down exactly the way you took them out. So with the protective film covers removed, set down the new film on the frame. Line it up as well as you can. There are going to be uh, some extras on all the edges. Those are going to get cut off afterwards. Poke little holes in all the hole locations so you can put the screws in without cracking the film. So once you've done that, tighten everything really, really tight. Don't tighten everything at first or you're going to have one side more screwed in than the other side and it could cause issues. So take your time doing it, balance it all out, and then tighten everything really, really well. With the frame all tightened now, take it and place it back into the bat. It only goes in one way, screw side down towards the table. Put the screws in now, one by one, back into the actual vat enclosure. Again, balance everything out. Don't let one side be more tight than the other. Tighten everything at the end. Just place them all in and then go over everything and make sure everything is really, really nice and tight. Once everything has been tightened up, ensure there's a little bit of spring to your film. And then from here, you're ready to cut the excess off. Now, be very, very careful not to puncture or pierce the film when you're cutting the excess off. Take note of how I did it in the video. Pause the video if you need to. Once the excess has been removed, you are essentially good to go. So next, you want to go to your printer, put the vat in, 
bolt it down. And from there, you want to go to tools and reset the number of layers. Typically, they say it's 10,000 to 30,000 layers per film before it needs to be replaced. If you take really good care of it, you might be able to get a little more out of it, but don't chance it. You're going to end up wasting resin and all that stuff. It's not worth it. And that's basically it. I wanted to make this video short and sweet and straight to the point. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. And make sure you check out my Patreon. I have some really cool stuff on there. That's it for now. Thanks again for watching. Mike Bot out. Thank you for watching Mike Bot Entertainment.